Welcome back to my channel. In this video, you're going to learn about how to rationalize the denominator and also how to find the conjugate. You're going to use this in uh, simplifying radicals, especially if it involves radical sign in the denominator. So let's get started. So now, rationalizing the denominator is to get rid of the radical from the denominator by performing some operations. To do that, multiply the numerator and the denominator by the radical in the denominator if there is only radical in the denominator. So I'm going to show you later a uh, different uh, given here. So look at number 1. I have here squared of 3 over squared of 2. We are not allowed to have final answer with radical sign. That's why we need to rationalize to learn about this. So let's copy that one first. Okay, so what are you going to do is to multiply both numerator and denominator by the radical here. So that is times square root of 2, same thing, square root of 2. And then you can now multiply square root of 3 times square root of 2, that is equal to square root of 6. And square root of 2 times square root of 2, that is equal to square root of 4. And now, check, this is already in simplest form. And now you, what you're going to do is get the square root of 4. So just copy now square root of 6, and that is equal to 2 square root of 4. This is the final answer. Now look at this case here. So there are different techniques actually on how you can do this. This one in 24, you can rationalize right away by multiplying square root of 5. But what will happen is my number inside the radical sign will get bigger. So what I want to do is, I'm going to simplify this one first. So 24, I can rewrite as 4 times 6. So it will be easy for me later. Okay? Now, square root of 4, that is 2. So therefore, that is 2. And then square root of 6 will be remain inside the radical sign. So I have now 2 times square root of 6 or 2 square root of 6. And then we have 2 square root of 5. Now I can cancel this one. So what I have now is square root of 6 divided by square root of 5. I am going to rationalize because I have square root of 5 in the denominator here. It means that this is not the final answer yet. So I'm going to multiply both numerator and denominator by square root of 5. Okay, now multiply this, square root of 6 times square root of 5 is equal to square root of 30. Is there any um, perfect square within this radicand 30? No, there is no factor wherein, uh, there, uh, no factor of 30 that is a perfect square. Therefore, that is in simplest form. And for 5, 5 times Square root of 5 times square root of 5 is square root of 25. This is 5 times 5. And square root of 25 is 5. So therefore, the final answer is square root of 30 over square root of 5. Take note, you cannot divide square root of 30 by 5 or 30 by 5. No, because square root of 5 has no radical sign. So your final answer will be square root of 30 over 5. Now I have here 3 over 2 times square root of 2x. So let's copy that one first. So we're going to multiply both numerator and denominator by this one, square root of 2x. Okay, so now we're going to multiply 3 times Square root of 2x is simply equal to 3 times square root of 2x. So we cannot combine, we cannot multiply 3 times 2 and put it inside. We can't. We cannot because this one has no radical sign. Okay, while the denominator 2 times square root of 2x times square root of 2x, so we're just going to copy 2 and then multiply square root of 2x times square root of 2x, that is square root of 4x squared. So 2 times square root of 4x squared. So now here, this is a perfect square. 
So we can now extract the square root of 4 and that is 2. We can extract the square root of x squared and that is x. So now we can multiply this 2x times 2 and that is now equal to 4x. So we're just going to copy the numerator because it's already in simplest form divided by 4x. Okay, next. So we have here 6 times, oh, uh, sorry, 6 plus square root of 7 divided by 5 times square root of x or 5 square root of x. So let's copy that one first. 6 plus square root of 7 divided by or over 5 square root of x. So we're going to multiply both numerator and denominator by square root of x. Okay? Now we're going to use distributive property here. So 6 times square root of x is simply equal to 6 times square root of x. So again, we cannot put 6 inside the radical sign here because 6 has no radical sign. Okay, so remain as that. Next is multiply square root of 7 by square root of x. So this one, we can put them inside one radical sign. 7 times x, that is 7x. So plus 7 or square root of 7x. Okay, now divided by here, we're just going to copy this 5 and square root of x times square root of x, that is square root of x squared. Right? Okay, so let's put it here. Square root of x squared. This one, multiplying this, multiplying this, that is square root of x squared. And what is square root of x squared? That is simply x. So the answer here, we can multiply it to 5, so 5x. That's the final answer. Okay, so 6 times square root of x or 6 square root of x plus 7x divided by 5x. So now, uh, all of them, this one already in simplest form, same with 7, it's already in simplest form. So look at the given here. So I have here plus. In my previous example, there is no addition sign here. In this case, we can't do like what we did a while ago that we are multiplied by square root of 2, both numerator and denominator. We can't do that because we can't get rid of the radical sign. But instead, get the conjugate of the denominator. When we say conjugate, we simply need to change the sign here. If this is plus, it becomes minus. If this is minus, it becomes plus. That's it. And then multiply that to both numerator and denominator. So let's copy that given first. Okay, now multiply both numerator by the conjugate of the denominator. Okay, so now use distributive property. 3 times 3, that is equal to 9. And then 3 times negative square root of 2, that is equal to negative 3 square root of 2. So we're done with the numerator. Let's do the denominator. So here in the denominator, two terms multiplying by two terms, just like FOIL method. We're going to distribute each term, 3 times 3, that is 9. Then 3 times negative square root of 2, that is negative 3 square root of 2. Now, let's do this one. Square root of 2 times 3, that is plus 3 square root of 2. Then we have square root of 2 times negative square root of 2, that is negative square root of 4. Now, let's see what we can simplify the here. Okay, look at this one. The same number but different sign. Negative 3 square root of 2 plus 3 square root of 2. This is equal to 0. What we have now is 9 and square root of 4. But square root of 4 is 2. So therefore, we have 9 minus 2. So let's copy the numerator. The numerator actually is already in simplest form. Now take note, we cannot subtract 9 minus 3 square root of 2. Or 9 minus 3, you can't do that because 3 has this uh, radical sign here. They're together. 9 don't have. Okay, 
So now we're just going to copy that. And then 9 minus 2. And what is 9 minus 2? That is simply 7. So divided by 7. This is the final answer. So that's how you're going to um, simplify or get rid of the radical sign in the denominator. That's all for this video and thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye!